the owner of the building received a transformation permit to create rooms, particularly in the basement, even though it was indicated in the architectural plans that there would be no windows in the rooms. We know that other buildings in the same borough are affected by non-compliance with basic safety measures, including the Place Duville building, which received two permits in the past. It's pretty serious stuff. It's troubling. It's a disturbing and worrisome to our residents as Montrealers, but also people who visit our community. And in that respect, the silence of the Ville Marie Borough and the administration has been quite remarkable because they've done nothing to help to reassure the population and to calm issues and concerns that people might have. Montrealers need to know how many buildings are likely to be non-compliant. Montrealers need to know how could the city have issued permits to building owners who did not meet safety standards and how could the city fail to verify the actual compliance of these permits that were issued. And that's why today we're calling on the government and we're joining our voice with the three parties in the Quebec National Assembly uh, who have called on the government to mandate the coroner's office to hold a public inquiry into the William Watson Ogilvy building fire. And we ask that the city of Montreal add its voice to formulate an official request to the Minister of Public Security. And in that regard, we have sent a letter to the coroner's office requesting this public inquiry. Basically, uh, we see the administration, you know, they're not responding to any questions neither public or private. And now we're asking the administration through a motion at the council to uh, at least to two things. The first thing is to uh, have a resolution voted by the, by, the, by the council and make sure that the coroner en chef of, this, of, the, of, of Quebec like, goes into an inquiry. And the second thing we're asking, we're asking for a public, uh, uh, for, for the general auditor of the city like, to take at least in charge and see what's going, what's not going uh, right in the issue of permits in the city. We saw that we have, we're in front of this hotel here, and we know that it was a permit that was issued with some insecurities. Like, you know, there's some, for us, we see that, you know, when you, when you, when you go to a city to the services with the plans, having rooms with no windows, this is elementary security issues that it wasn't taken in consideration and the permit was delivered. So there is something wrong there, and we're asking the administration to at least ask, act fast for the security of the people, especially we had a tragedy with seven people who they died in a, in a fire uh, a week ago, 10 days ago.